Here we have a Photon 320. We're going to compare it to some other thermal imaging cameras by FLIR. This camera is a core camera with more than 82,900 pixels of temperature measurement that make up the image. There are two offerings in this camera, a 19 millimeter and also a 35 millimeter lens. This camera gives you an RCA video out capability for recording video. It has a 30 hertz refresh rate and it also gives you the camera interface to change the color palettes that we see here through a computer interface. Here is the Fire and Ice color palette which will give you the blue as we see and also the red at the bottom end and top end of our color scale. Here through the computer interface we are able to do a two time zoom and also pan digitally with the computer interface again through that RS-232 cable. Here we're going to zoom back out, out of that two time zoom. Here you can see some comparison images from a FLIR i7 infrared camera and a couple of color palettes. The FLIR i7 is the only way you can record images is by making still images. It doesn't give you the ability to record video as the Photon 320 does. Now we're going to show you some video from a FLIR E30, E40, back doing the video out through the RCA capabilities on that camera. And as you can see here, we're using a touch screen to change the color palettes. The i7, E30, and E40 cameras each have approximately 19,000 pixels of temperature measurement that make up the image. If you notice, this image isn't quite as clear as that of the Photon 320. If you notice here that we are in the E50 camera, we have a little bit better resolution approximately 43,000 pixels of temperature measurement that are making up the image. The E-Series E40, 50, and 60 cameras also gives us the ability to record an MP4 file to our SD card that can then be downloaded and played. Notice here we are freezing our temperature span on this calibrated infrared camera. We can then spread apart our temperature span, move our temperature span up and down to better be able to view images. If you notice here as we switch into the E60, again we have 76,000 pixels of temperature measurement so it gives us a little bit better capability to see more detail which is very beneficial also with our touch screen we can change our color palettes we can add temperature measurements we can touch on the screen to lock our temperature span move it up and down or spread it apart The E-Series cameras also have digital zoom capabilities like the Photon. Two time zoom shown here. The E60 also has a four time zoom. It does not have digital panning though. You have to actually move the camera to pan through the image. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the Photon and E-Series cameras. Please call us and let us know if we can help you in any way. Thank you.